students now let us talk about what is chi square test chi square test is a statistical test that is used to measure the association between two categorical variables it's so it's a test that is used to determine whether there is a significant difference between the expected frequencies and the observed frequencies in one or more categories how we calculate the chi square statistics for each observed number in the table subtract the corresponding expected number so zero minus e which is expected number and o is the observed number then square the difference 0 minus e to the power 2 and divide the squares obtained for each cell in the table by the expected number for that cell so that is o minus e to the power 2 you are squaring it up divided by e chi square test students is mainly done for three purposes first is the goodness of fit test then we have test for independence and then we have test for homogeneity the goodness of it, fit test is used to test whether a frequency distribution obtained experimentally fits an expected frequency distribution that is based on theoretical or previously known probability of each outcome. While test for independence is used to test whether or not two variables are independent and test for homogeneity is used to draw, draw the conclusion whether two population have the same distribution. Correlation student is a quantitative relationship between two interval or ratio level of variables like independent variables for example score on the SAT exam, height, shoe size, hour of training, cigarette smoke per day while a dependent variable like Y is number of accident height, lung capacity, IQ. Correlation is going to measure and describe the strength and direction of the relationship. Bivariate techniques requires two variable score from the same individual, the dependent and the independent variable, while the multivariate correlation when more than two independent variables, example, effect of advertising and prices on sale. Variable must be ratio or interval scale. If you look at this here student, this is called as the negative correlation. Negative correlation if we can see here, as the hours of training is increasing, the hours of training we see it's on the x-axis and accidents is on the y-axis. You can see this is a negative correlation. Why? Because as the hours of driver training is increasing, the number of accidents we can see is decreasing. For example, if 20 hours of training is there, you can see the accidents are just close to 10 here. Negative correlation is when the x is increasing, y is decreasing. But positive correlation is when x is increasing, y is also increasing. So as your SAT score is increasing, your GPA is also increasing, right? So it is in a positive correlation. For example, higher the GPA, higher is the SAT score. But here, student, you see there is no correlation. There is a flat line here. What does it mean? If you see two variables, height and IQ here, there is no relationship between the height and IQ of a person. There is no linear correlation here. The hypothesis test for significance, R is the correlation coefficient for the sample and the correlation coefficient for the population is P. For a two-tailed test for significance, if H0 states that P or the correlation coefficient of the population is zero, the correlation is not significant. And H alternative hypothesis or HA is P is not equal to zero. So correlation becomes significant. So regression analysis uh, students uh, in linear regression, uh, regression attempts to determine the strength and character of relationship between one dependent variable denoted by Y and a series of other variables known as independent variables. Mathematically regression analysis uses an algorithm to learn the mapping function from the input variables to the output variable. That is y equals to f times x, where y is a continuous or real valued vari variable. So regression is said to be linear. Regression if the output dependent variable is a linear function of the input variables. So output variable student here is the dependent variable, that is y, and the input variable will be the independent variable. So regression is a statistical method to find the relationship between one dependent variable and a series of other variables. The attempts to model an output feature between output feature and input feature by fitting an equation to the observed data. The regression is a method of modeling an output feature depends based on input feature. It finds a relationship between output and input feature. So you have the simple regression, you have the multiple regressions. From the exam point of view, we mainly need to know simple linear regression.
linear regression is a linear model example a model that assumes a linear relationship between the input variable x and the output variable y more specifically that y can be calculated from a linear combination of the input variable that is x like example of linear regression is like predicting price of a house on basis of rooms or predicting salary of a person on the basis of his experience students in the single linear uh, regression you have to be sure that linear relationship exists between the dependent feature and the independent feature as the x is increasing y tends to increase so as the experience of a uh, dentist increase the salary increase that's a positive linear correlation the negative correlation as x increases y tends to decrease given an input feature x compute an output feature y output feature is of continuous data for example predicting the height from the age so height is the output and age is the input x or predict the house price from the number of bedrooms so you can see this is linear regression model and why it is a linear regression or simple linear regression because you can clearly see that when uh, the height uh, age increases height also increases or when number of bedrooms increases price of home also increases the parametric test students they are used when data has a normal distribution when the measurement scale is interval or ratio and we know we have four types of parametric testing two sample t test pair t test anova and pairs of coefficient of correlation the parametric test they assume a normal distribution of values or a bell shaped curve for example height is roughly a normal distribution in that if you were to graph height from a group of people you will see a typical bell shaped curve so this distribution we know is called as a gaussian curve or the gaussian distribution now t test is a ratio between the difference between two groups and difference within the groups right we know it's for two groups if it is more than two groups then we go for anova testing larger the t score more difference there is between the groups smaller the t score more similarity is between the groups that score of 3 means that the groups are 3 times as different from each other as they are within each other when you run a t test bigger the t value more likely is that the results are repeatable a larger t score students tells you that the groups are different a smaller t score tells you that the groups are similar and we discussed that there are three main types of t test we have the independent sample t test compare the means for two groups a paired sample t test compare means from same group at different times and one sample t test means test the mean of a single group against a known mean t test is statistics used for testing hypothesis regarding the mean of a small sample taken population when the standard deviation of population is unknown t test is used to determine if there is a significant difference between the means of two groups and t test is used for hypothesis testing to determine whether a process has an effect on both the sample or if the groups are different from each other basically the t test allows the comparison of the mean of two sets of data and determination if the two sets are derived from the same population after the null and the alternative hypothesis are established the t test so after the null and the alternative hypothesis are established the t test formulas are used to calculate the values that are then compared with standard values so based on the comparison the null hypothesis either reject or it is accepted the t test is similar to other tests like the z test and f test except that t test is usually performed when the sample size student is small and is less than 30 it's a parametric test of hypothesis testing based on student t distribution it is essentially testing the significance of difference of the mean values when the sample size is small that is less than 30 and when the population standard deviation is not available what are the assumptions of this test population distribution is normal samples are random independent the sample size is small and the standard deviation of the population is unknown so we know a t test can be a one sample t test to so compare a sample mean with that of the population mean so t equals to x bar that is sample mean mu is the mean of the population s is the standard deviation and n is the sample size here now for the two sample t test to compare the means of two different samples t equals to x bar 1 minus x2 bar to the root of x1 square over n1 plus s2 square over n2 where x1 bar is the sample mean of the first group s2 bar is the sample mean of the second group s1 is the sample 
first standard deviation s2 is a sample two standard deviation n is a sample size so we use the test p test to compare the mean of two samples whether they are de dependent or independent it can also be used to determine if the sample mean is different from the assumed mean p test is an application to determine the confidence interval for a sample mean so if the value of the test statistics is greater than the table value then you have to reject the null hypothesis and if the value of the test statistics is less than table value do not reject the null hypothesis now let us see what is z test z test student is a statistical test used to determine whether two population means are different when the variances are known and the sample size is large so z test is a statistical tool used for comparison or determination of significance of several statistical measures particularly the mean in a sample from a normally distributed population or between two independent sample so like t test z test is also based on normal probability distribution so z test students is the most commonly used statistical tool in research methods with it being used for studies where sample size is large n is greater than 30 so in case of z test the variance is known usually known and z test is more convenient than t test as the critical value at each significance level in the confidence interval is the sample for all the sample sizes so z score is a number indicating how many standard deviations above or below the mean of population is so it's a parametric test for your hypothesis testing and it is used to determine so it is a parametric test for your hypothesis testing and it is used to determine whether the means are different when the population variance is known and the sample size is large that is greater than 30 the assumptions of this test again is population distribution is normal sample are random and independent the sample size is large and population standard deviation is known here which was unknown for the t test we have the one sample t test to compare our sample mean with that of the population mean you can see the z here the z score is x bar that's a sample mean minus mu that's population mean sigma is a standard deviation n is a sample size this is a formula for the two sample z says you compare the means of two different samples where z is x bar 1 minus x bar 2 square root of sigma 1 2 plus sigma 2 to the power 2 over n1 plus sigma 2 to the power n2 students so let us talk about anova testing now that is analysis of various testing anova students is a statistical technique specially designed to test whether the means of more than two quantitative populations are equal let's see an example here a study was conducted among men of age group 18 to 25 years in a community to assess effect of socio economic status on bmi we see lower socio economic status was having the bmi or body mass index of 18 17 18 19 19, 19. sample size is 5 here then here middle uh, socio economic status we can see there are six samples here it's 22 25 24, 24 higher social uh, economic status definitely have highest bmi here the mean for each group 18.2 23.6 and for higher socio economic status which is 26.4 what different ways we can do anova testing here one way anova two way anova and three way anova so one way anova is effect of socio economic status on bmi Two way ANOVA is effect of age and socio economic status on BMI. While three way ANOVA, we can see three factors: effect of age, socio economic status, as well as diet on BMI. So ANOVA is repeated measure when comparing more than three group means where the participants are same in each group of subjects is measured more than twice. Generally, over time, such a patient weighed at baseline and every month after a weight loss program. so for a one way anova or single factor anova it's going to determine means of more than three independent groups that are significantly different from one another only one independent variable factor or grouping variable with more than three levels grouping variable here is nominal and outcome variable can be interval or a ratio let's see in two way anova two way anova uh, when two independent variables nominal or categorical have an effect on dependent variable then we use the two way anova ordinal or ratio measurement scale is the dependent variable here so two way anova is going to compare the relative influences of dependent variable and examine interaction between independent variables just we had the sum of squares and mean squares in one way anova we have the same in two way anova as well so two way anova actually include test of three null hypothesis 
where means of observation group by one factor are same, means of observation group by other factor are the same, and there is no interaction between the two factors. The interaction test tells whether the effect of one factor will depend on the other factor. So, if we have the test score of boys and girls in age group of 10, 11, and 12, if we want to study the effect of gender and age on the score, so two independent variable is gender and age, but the dependent factor is the test score because what is the test score coming is dependent on the independent factors. So, what are the three null hypotheses we have? The first H0 is gender will have no significant effect on student. The second H0 is age will have no significant on the student score. And the third H0 is gender and age interaction will have no significant effect on student score. 